Here we see Uncle Vezinet arriving at Fadenard's home in Paris, bearing a gift for Fadenard's wedding, which is to take place that very day. Little does he realize that the wedding will be the lesser of the events during the next several hours. Fadenard arrives and tells his story of his morning's ride in from the country. As he was driving along, his whip suddenly flew from his hand. He had to stop to search for it. Left unattended, his horse wandered away. When found, the horse was calmly munching a once lovely lady's straw hat, while the owner watched and wailed. She had hung it on a bush while she took a romantic stroll with her lover, the Lieutenant Emilio. The eaten hat so enraged Emilio, he threatened Fednard, who claimed he narrowly escaped the lieutenant's clutches. Uncle Vezinet considers the hat. But more concerned with the food at the upcoming wedding, he wanders out, leaving Fednard to sing of his forthcoming nuptial joy. This rapture is interrupted when in bursts an aide, the owner of the straw hat, and her lover, the lieutenant. They demand Fednard replace the hat with an exact replica. The conversation heats up and soon turns into a row. In the midst of the altercation, Fedenard's bride-to-be, Elena, her father, Nonincourt, and the wedding party arrive. Fedenard panics, knowing that his father-in-law will call off the wedding if there is even so much as a hint of another woman in his apartment. Quickly, he shoves an aide and Emilio into the next room. Enter Nonincourt and Elena. The simple farmer, indeed suspicious, is suffering in a pair of rented shoes and soon leaves to find more comfortable ones, taking Elena with him to join the waiting wedding party. The two closeted lovers reappear and reveal there is a jealous husband to contend with. He had seen an aide leave the house that morning wearing the straw hat and would be more than suspicious if she returned without it. The illicit couple refuse to leave Fadenard's apartment until he comes up with a duplicate. Waylaid by the wedding party, with one hour remaining before his marriage, Fednard sets out on a frantic search through the streets of Paris, trailed by the entire group. The path takes him to a milliner. She sends him to the home of the Baroness de Champigny, who is preparing for an elegant and exclusive evening of music. Somewhere between the milliners and the baronesses, the wedding took place, and now the wedding party thinks it's following Fednard to the reception at the Suckling Pig. When Fednard arrives at the Baroness's, she thinks he's the renowned violinist who is to play that evening. Fednard is willing to assume any pose, even profess love, in order to get the straw hat. As he tries to woo away the straw hat in one room, the wedding party enters another and proceeds to devour the Baroness's sumptuous feast. The Baroness, so smitten by the would-be musician, surrenders the hat. To Fedenard's distress, it is the wrong one. She has given the duplicate hat away. Fedenard wildly tries to leave to find the new owner. In the midst of the confusion, the Baroness discovers the feast vanishing and the great minority, the real violinist, arrives. It's all too much for her, and she faints in the arms of her guests. Now act one of Nino Rota's opera, The Italian Straw Hat.